Good morning, everyone. Thank you for viewing this video. My name is Teacher Mary J. Cayo. I am from Belis Capatagan, Lano del Norte, but right now I am residing here in the campus of Mountain View College, Mount Nebo, Valencia City, Bukidnon, Philippines. This video is all about my teaching demonstration for English 3, entitled Demonstrative Pronouns. May you enjoy watching this video. I am going to show to you to my semi-detailed lesson plan. Enjoy watching. Hello, grade three pupils, how are you? How are you? How are you? Hello, grade three pupils, how are you? How are you today? Uh huh. Is anyone hungry? Is anyone sad? Is anyone happy? Is anyone worried about something? Right. So nobody is hungry, nobody is worried about something, nobody is sad, and nobody is not happy. Alright, so meaning to say, everyone is happy and everyone is good. That's great, teacher Mary is so happy with that. But everybody, look outside and tell me what's the weather today. Yeah, today's weather is a sunny day and this is a great day to start with. To start with love and with enthusiasm to learn new things from teacher Mary. But before we are going to start our lesson for today, what's the first thing to do? Yeah, seek first the Lord in prayer. Now, who is the prayer leader for today? It's Caleb, right? So, okay, shall we all stand for prayer? Amen. Okay, thank you for that prayer, Caleb. Now, group leaders, it's time for you to report who are the absent in your group. For the checking of attendance, group one. Oh, everyone is present. How about group two? All right, everyone is present too. Meaning to say nobody is absent today. Very good. Now, what was our topic last week? Mm hmm. Okay, yeah, Kelly, you're raising your right hand. Yeah, we talk about pronoun. Yeah, now who can give me what is a pronoun? Okay, Joanna. Yeah, you're right. Pronoun is a substitute of noun or a noun phrase. Very good. No. Who can give me an example of pronouns? Raise your right hand. Oh, yeah. Joshua? Yeah, it's I, we, he, they, it. Very good. Okay. Congratulations. All right. Good job. No. Okay. Everybody, who is excited to play a new game? Now let's play a game and I have a box here in front of you. So the name or the title of this game is Pass the Box. Meaning to say, once the music starts playing, you are going to pass this box to your classmates. Alright? Mm -hmm. But before that, form a circle first. Yeah, okay, good job. Done? Alright. And the second mechanic of the game is that once the music stops playing and you are the one who is holding the box meaning to say you are going to give two sentences okay one sentence to the object or objects near to you or then the second sentence it's like a sentence to demonstrate object or objects far from you great job is it clear yeah can you take yes teacher clear all right good job now that's the box Okay, but before that, mm -hmm. okay, get this box. Okay, all right, so let's play the music. Oh, it's your time. Whoa, who is the one holding the box? Oh, it's Caleb again. <laughs> okay, Caleb, it's time for you to give in. All right, okay, very good. Caleb said that this is a pen. Those are slippers. Very good. Okay, now let's play again. Pass the bags. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. Then who is now? Who is now holding the box? Okay, so it is Jackie. Now, Jackie, give me the sentence. Sentence number one. Okay, sentence number two. Right, great job. Sentence number one. Jackie said, this is a comb. 
That is a window. All right, good job. Okay, did you enjoy the game? Did you? Yeah, very good. Now, what do you think is the lesson for today? Or what do you think is the title of the lesson for today? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Okay, we will check and we will see if all your answers are correct through this next activity. All right, are you ready? Are you ready? Okay, can you say to teacher, yes, teacher, ready. Okay, good job. Now, teacher is going to pose a picture and you are going to guess it. Okay, are you ready? Now, can you see these pictures on the board? So there are four pictures and I want all of you to answer. But please don't forget our classroom rules. If you want to answer, please raise your right hand. All right, picture number one. Yeah, Kelly. Yeah, Kelly said, this is a table. Mm -hmm, according to the picture. How about question number two? Who wants to answer? Yeah, Jackie. Mm -hmm. So picture number two is, how many tables or how many tables in the picture? Two tables. So, and this is near. Yeah, near so. Okay, so these are tables. Picture number three, who wants to answer? Yeah, Joanna. Okay, so remember that there's a distance, okay? Distance between the speaker and the object. All right, okay. What's your answer? All right, okay. Joanna said that that is a chair. Very good, yes, nice picture. Who wants to answer this picture? Okay, okay. Oh, 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 oh. You are raising your right hand? Okay, so it's Caleb again. Mm -hmm. Now, remember that there is also a distance. Okay, don't forget the distance and how many numbers of chairs. <laughs> uh huh, what's your answer? All right, Caleb said those are chairs. Very good, all of you. Now, what did you observe in our activity? <laughs> yes, you are right. This, we are talking about this, this, that, those. No, who can guess what's the title of our lesson for today? Oh, raise your right hand. Mm -hmm. Joanna again. You are right. <laughs> our lesson for today is all about demonstrative pronouns. Okay, it's demonstrative pronouns. Pronouns. Good job. So this is the title of our lesson for today. It's all about demonstrative pronouns. Great job. Now, how can you give me a definition of demonstrative pronouns? Is anyone? Does anybody knows the answer? Oh, you're raising your right hand, Kelly. Show. Mm -hmm. Show we're an object. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's consider that. We will try to see. Who else? Okay, you, Joshua. Oh, who used to identify things or events or person? Uh huh. Okay, in relation to the distance or time, you said that? Mm -hmm. So let's check if all your answers are correct by this next activity again. Are you ready? Okay, this activity is entitled, what is this? All right, okay. So now class, I'm going to distribute a number to each one of you. So each one of you has an assigned number. Once I am going to call a number and it is your number. So it's time for you to stand up and answer my question. Are you ready? Okay, so let's Okay, pass this number to your classmates. All right. Okay, how about number number five? Okay, stand up. Okay, leave again. <laughs> so answer this question. What? How are you going to demonstrate this? This picture. Yeah, Caleb okay, said this is an apple. Okay. Okay, very good. You may now sit down. Next number is 
Number three. Oh, Joanna. Okay, how about this picture? How are you going to describe this? <laughs> yeah, that is an apple. Why do you say this or that is? Mm -hmm, because of distance? Okay, what's the distance? Is it near or far? Yeah, it's far and it, it's only one, so that's why you said that is an apple. Right, great job. Great job. Okay, next number. Number six. What is this picture? Mm -hmm. First, mm -hmm. it's near, mm -hmm. and how many apples? Yeah, there are 30 apples, so meaning to say, what's your answer? These are apples. Oh, why do you say that this? Yeah, because there are many apples, and it is, what's the distance? Yeah, the distance is near, that's why this. All right, good job. You may not sit down. Next number, number four. Okay, stand up. How about if I'm going to move the apple in this area? How are you going to demonstrate this picture? Uh, first, the distance. Is it near or far? Yeah, so the distance is far. So meaning to stay. Mm -hmm. And how many apples? Three, so... <laughs> okay, good job. So you answered... Those are apples. All right, then I think it's very clear now. Mm -hmm. Now, who can give me the definition of demonstrative pronoun? Raise your right hand. Okay, it's Caleb again. Mm -hmm. Oh, Caleb said that demonstrative pronouns show where an object or where an event or a person in relation to the speaker. Meaning to say, all right, so it matters to the distance or to the time. Very good! Since everybody defined correctly what is demonstrative pronouns, so we will have this group activity. All right, so we will group, uh, I will group you according to your numbers. All odd numbers are group one, all even numbers are group two. Okay, so I will give you now time to go to your group. All right, okay, so this activity is just so easy. Okay, so you just need to fill in the blanks. Fill in the blanks what is the correct demonstrative pronouns. Okay, and I am going to give you three minutes to answer this group activity or to do this group activity. Is everyone ready? Can you say, yes, teacher? Right, so everyone is ready. Now, group leader, please get all your materials here in front okay okay done oh mm -hmm. you may now start doing your group activity don't forget that there's also an instruction inside the envelope okay time starts now okay three minutes up it's time for you to post all your output here on the board all right, so group one and group two, come here in front. Let's check your answer. So it's time for me to check all your work. Mm -hmm. Okay, but I will begin checking the work of group two. Now let's check group two. Okay, that this this those. So uh huh, this is a book. So it's near. Check that is a book. All right, so it's far and it's only one. Good job. These are books. Yeah, there are three books and it's near. That's why you use this. Great job. Number four. Those are books. Yeah, so as you can see in the picture, there are three books and the distance is far. So you use those. Mm -hmm. Because it's also plural. Okay. Group two is four over four. Let's cut, clap our hands. <laughs> clap your hands for you. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to proceed to group or group one. Mm -hmm. Let's check the work of group one. 
This is a book. Yeah, because it's near. And only one. Okay. That is a book. Yeah, only one and it's far. Those are books. Oh, what do you think is the wrong in this sentence? Those, those are books. Okay, group one. Eyes on the board. Everybody. Those are books. Group one, you have a chance to answer, to change your answer. Okay, so what would be the correct answer in question number three? Do you think this is correct already? Mm -hmm. I will give you one chance to change or to think of if this answer is correct already. <laughs> okay, so mm -hmm. what do you think? Those are books. As you can see, the distance is near. There are three. We use those. Yeah, so I mean, they say your answer should be this because it's near and it's plural. These are books, okay? So you just need to change the pronouns, the demonstrative pronouns in number three and number four, okay? So let me do it for you should be here okay so this is correct now okay these are books all right it's near those are books all right okay so thank up to everyone okay so oh it's a, hello everyone let's clap our hands <laughs> okay great job so great job everybody teacher is so proud to all of you for doing your best. Any questions? Okay, nobody is going to ask me now. <laughs> okay, so nobody is going to ask me now. Any clarification? Any questions, class? Okay, so meaning everything's clear? Oh, really? Okay, so let's clap our hands for that. Right, you see, demonstrative programs is not that difficult. Okay, just remember a few things, right? When you use this, remember if a thing or an object or an event is like this. Is it near, here, singular, things happening now, right? Okay, and about this, referring to an object that is near and plural and things happening now or events that is happening now. Right, great job. Okay, now how about that when are you going to use that use that if it is far there and if it is singular like this the distance is far and it is usually used in events that is um events or things finished already it's in the past right okay but those use those if it's far plural and like the picture here class in our life we always experience the demonstration of God's love to all of us, okay? By the time we wake up in the morning and the time the sun sets in the evening. Okay, so as a giving back of God's love towards us, may we demonstrate love to our friends, to our classmates, to our family, and to our schoolmates, all right? So thank you for listening and for being attentive today. Any questions, class? Okay, no. Let's say none so far. Okay, cool. So now it's time for you to take note of the assignment. Just study your book ahead of time. And next meeting, we're going to talk about demonstrative adjectives, all right? And also for your enrichment. Just answer the activity in your book in pages 300 to 301. Goodbye class and thank you for today.